Hi, how are you? How's it going? Thank you for coming back. My name is Rodrigo and this is the Food Director channel. Um, I appreciate all of you guys' comments, all of the likes, and please keep subscribing. Anyways, uh, today we're going to make something that's uh, fairly easy to make. Uh, it's not a lot of condom, it's not a lot of preparation, but it takes a long time. It's, uh, I'm going to braise a piece of meat, which is uh, the cut is mock tender. It comes out off, I mean, extraordinarily soft and tasty. We just season it with some basic vegetables, a little bit of wine and whatnot. And uh, you can have it with some mashed potatoes, with some salad, rice, cauliflower rice, or whatever your choice is. Anyways, we'll get right on to it, and uh, I'll show you how to prepare it, and we'll get on with it. said it's a fairly easy uh, dish doesn't have a lot of condiments neither a lot of a uh, process it's just uh, patience because once we put it in the oven it's going to be cooking bracing at a very low uh, a heat and as I said before it will come out really really soft so to start first thing we're going to do is uh, we'll turn the oven on at 285 degrees and so preheat while we um, sorry, yeah, 280, 285 while we uh, do our work. We turn the hot heat on, medium, we'll warm up the oil at medium heat as we're putting about, I would say, two tablespoons of oil and we'll wait for it to warm up and we'll sear, uh, brown the meat. We just brown the meat and then we'll set it aside. Let's check this. Yeah, I think it's fine. I took the piece of meat and I cut it into uh, small pieces so they would fit here. So we're still browning it, as you can see. I have to turn it and do it in every side. The idea is to seal the meat as much as much as possible. All right, so we're just about ready. Just be able to brown it on every side. We can lower the heat a little to medium since we had it in medium high. And we take this meat and put it in a bowl. So we're going to be using it a little bit later, not yet. As we do that, okay, we're going to add the onions to the hot oil. I will just saute them a little and feel they are a little transparent. Okay. You don't need to add extra oil. I can say, you know, two, um, two spoons of oil, which is about one and a half ounces, should be sufficient. Just wait for the onions to brown a little. So we're sauteing the onions for a couple of minutes. They've turned transparent a little brown. And then we'll throw in. Okay, we'll add the garlic, which is just crushed garlic. And keep stirring slowly until uh, we start getting a little bit of um, the smell of the garlic. The onions have caramelized and the, on the garlic has also cooked a little where they become more fragrant. We'll now add the celery and the leeks to this concoction. We'll turn it just a little more. We'll keep stirring until the leaves barely change color, which will probably be about uh, two minutes, about two minutes, two and a half minutes. We keep stirring so nothing uh, gets burned. You notice the leaves as well as the celery change color a little bit. Uh, 
when you're putting the garlic with the skin, the skins might come off. You can take them off if you like. And now we add the carrots, the green peppers, and the yellow peppers. Create a little bit of liquid at the bottom. As soon as that happens, we'll add the two tablespoons of tomato sauce or uh, regular tomatoes if you like. You would have to put, I guess, uh, or one tomato. You can chop it up and, and uh, add it and stir it until it, it's slightly softened. Okay. Once that happens, we'll um, add our meat back in here again, put the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so we a little bit of this and we'll put the two tablespoons of tomato paste and the idea is to caramelize it a little okay if by any chance you don't want to have some tomato paste or you don't like it you don't have to add it but it gives it a nice flavor and now we'll stir keep stirring until the tomato paste starts caramelizing so as you can see the tomato has caramelized you don't want to burn it either I'll, um, we'll add our meat back as well as any juices that might have come out of it. Let it give it a juice there. Only let it come to temperature. Now we can uh, condiments we add the wine try to get the meat at the bottom as much as possible and we add the broth Two cups of broth. Okay. And stir it a little bit more, make sure everything is fine. And we're probably going to need a little bit of water. We're just going to bring it to a boil. Then we'll add water sufficient, water, or you can put more broth or more wine. Now, I don't recommend more wine, it's going to get too strong. Uh, to cover it about half an inch on top of the meat because it will evaporate. So, uh, we'll wait now about, uh, I'm guessing about 10-15 minutes and uh, we'll move on to the next step which is basically just put a little bit extra water and put it into the oven for the next two and a half hours or so. Okay, so it's been about three Four minutes and as you can see it's starting to boil so we're going to take it from medium to low to simmer okay and we'll simmer this for approximately 15 or 20 minutes at most Actually, before we do that, we're going to put the water now, so it'll be mixed. See, so it's enough water to barely cover the meat. Timer is ready, 15 minutes. And it's been slowly simmering. Give it a little stirring and now carefully we'll put it in the oven. Okay. Carefully we'll put the oven 
might get heat blast, use rags or something to take the, uh, the pot because it's probably hot. The two hour mark, we'll um, check it, make sure that it hasn't evaporated too much and with a spoon, if we can separate the meat. If that is the case, it's ready to serve. So two hours have passed and um, time to take Be careful, it's going to be very hot okay. and the pot as well. Okay. In the meantime, I made some rice with some vegetables and think it will go perfect with it. Hopefully, it doesn't fog up. Perfect, it looks perfect, soft and Great. All right. So I'll present it. I'll get it ready, and um, I'll show you some pictures of the final product. Once again, thank you very, very much for uh, watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like, and all your comments will be welcome. Thank you again, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.